For the past couple of months, I've been trying out so many different sunscreens in search of the best sunscreen that works for darker skin tones. And I think I found it. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Zuko. I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the best sunscreen I have ever used. If you are someone who struggles with your sunscreen having a super bad white cast, irritating your eyes, being cakey on your skin, and just kind of peeling and flaking throughout the day, this video is for you. I can confidently say that I have found the sunscreen that everyone, especially me, has been waiting for. Checks all of my boxes and it's literally just the most amazing sunscreen ever and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it and compare it to some other sunscreens today. So you know that sunscreen rule that says you have to reapply your sunscreen every two hours? With this sunscreen that I'm gonna be talking about, that's not the case. This one will last you for 10 hours straight. 10 hours, isn't that crazy? That means you can now go all day long without having to reapply your sunscreen or worrying about it wearing off and not being effective anymore. And to prove to you that this is literally the best sunscreen ever, I'm gonna be comparing it with all of Amazon's best-selling sunscreens. We have Neutrogena, CeraVe, Super Goop, Black Girl Sunscreen, and many more. So stay tuned and let's put all these sunscreens to the test. So the star of the show here is the Number Zine Number One Clear Filter Sun Essence. You guys, this is literally the best sunscreen that I have ever tried and believe me I've tried hundreds of sunscreens over the years but this one really is like it's mind-blowing how good this is one of the things that I love about this sunscreen is how lightweight it is when you apply this it literally feels like you're rubbing in a luxurious moisturizer usually when you're applying sunscreens it just it feels like a sunscreen it kind of feels maybe like it's clogging your pores or it just has a different texture that is very distinct sunscreen but this I'm not kidding if you applied this with your eyes closed and didn't know what you were applying you would think that you were putting on an expensive moisturizer so the feel of this is just so incredible another thing that I absolutely love about this sunscreen is its applicator so when you open the tube you have a really precise applicator tip and I love this little tip it makes it so easy to like apply your two finger length worth of sunscreen and this is never gonna like explode or start leaking or like go crazy on you. So I absolutely love the applicator. Another thing that I love about this sunscreen and that's super important to me when looking at sunscreens is the white cast. This sunscreen doesn't leave even the slightest trace of a white cast. It absorbs into your skin seamlessly and I can honestly say that I think this sunscreen would work for any skin tone. I know that this will not leave a white cast on you at all whatsoever. And that is very hard to do in the sunscreen world. I know someone watching this is gonna be like, oh, but my skin is sensitive. I can't use chemical sunscreens, only mineral. I have sensitive skin, I can't do it. I also have sensitive skin. This sunscreen is actually formulated for people with sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. I work out with it, I sweat with it. It gets in my eye and literally I have no burning or irritation throughout the day while wearing this. So I would say that it's sensitive skin friendly. This is also great for acne prone skin as well. I used to struggle so much with acne, you guys, and I would always be so scared to wear sunscreen. I would feel like sunscreen would cause me to break out, but I'd have to wear sunscreen to prevent the breakouts from getting dark and causing dark marks on my face. So I just felt like I was kind of stuck in a cycle of creating pimples and then wearing sunscreen to like stop the damage, but then that causing more irritation and just making my skin worse, which was such a struggle. But this is amazing. It's safe for acne prone skin. It's non-comedogenic. This sunscreen also contains 49.8% of calming herb water. So it's very calming in comparison to all the other sunscreens that I've tried. Honestly, the best part about this is it has high protection SPF 50 plus PA, and I don't have to reapply it every two hours, you guys. 
that's like the bane of my existence is reapplying my sunscreen and i just really can't believe that you don't have to do that with this like i i'm i'm shook over that the sunscreen has been clinically tested in the trials the sunscreen was 91 percent effective over six hours of use. It's $19 for 1.69 fluid ounces, which is pretty affordable in my opinion. So yeah, I could go on and on and on about this sunscreen, but let's get into its top competitors and see if any of them can come close to this or if this one can really stand the test. Okay, next up, we are coming in hot with the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 sunscreen. This is such a popular sunscreen in the skincare world. It's like very renowned for not having white cast, having great SPF protection, and just being a really solid option for women of color and really just anyone in general across the board. I do like this sunscreen. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. This is an honest review. I'm telling you my true opinions. This sunscreen is pretty great. I don't find that this sunscreen leaves too much of a white cast. I mean, it does kind of go on pretty white, but for my skin tone, it absorbs pretty well. It kind of just disappears. However, I don't think that this would work for every skin tone. Like if you have a really deep complexion, this might leave a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of a cast on your skin. Another downside to this sunscreen is I find it a little bit irritating. It usually goes away after I stop sweating, but there is a bit of a sting when you sweat with this one. Another downside I would say about this sunscreen is the price. This sunscreen retails for $41 and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. It's a good sunscreen. I would definitely use this sunscreen on a daily basis. I think it's a great option, but it's kind of expensive for the amount of product that you get. Our next can tender is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Super Goop is one of the top sunscreen brands. It's really at the forefront of sunscreen, but I just didn't love this one. This is a broad spectrum SPF 40 PA sunscreen. It's water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes, so that's good. I will also say that this sunscreen does not leave a white cast whatsoever, so it definitely passes the white cast check. This sunscreen is more of like a gel consistency. It's one of those types of sunscreens that feels like a primer when you apply it on your face, which honestly I don't love. When sunscreens have that like silicone primer type of finish, I just find that I don't like the feeling of it on my face. Like it feels like my skin can't breathe underneath it because it feels like such a, like such a layer on my skin. This sunscreen retails for $38 and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. So I mean, this sunscreen is pretty good. Honestly, there's no white cast. It's not super irritating. I can work out with this and it doesn't burn my eyes. I just don't love the primer feel that you get with a sunscreen like this. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of the more affordable options. Next up, we have the CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50. This sunscreen is not at all for people of color. When I applied this to my face, I was shocked. I looked like I had a bluish white mask on and I honestly can't even wear this outside. Like if you have any type of melanin in your complexion, this is not for you. It's gonna be a total fail and you will look crazy, literally crazy if you wear this sunscreen out. So this was an immediate no for me. I don't even know how lighter complexions can wear this sunscreen. Like the cast that this leaves is so crazy. I don't, I, I just can't even like, it's not even usable. However, this retails for $13, so it's a great price. Maybe if you have like a very, 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 very light skin tone, you could get away with this, but it's just not gonna work if you have any sort of color and I wouldn't recommend it at all. Okay, next up for a nice affordable option, we have the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. This is an SPF 55 and it retails for $13.99. This sunscreen is a pretty good affordable option. Um, It is pretty sheer. I would say it doesn't leave a super bad white cast. This 
is the type where it kind of leaves a cast at first, but if you just kind of rub it in well and let it sit for a little bit, the cast goes away, at least on my skin tone. So if you have a darker skin tone than me, I think it could work, but it's a little bit in between as far as white cast goes. Another thing about this sunscreen is that it's irritating to the eyes. So if you're an eye rubber or if you wanna work out with your sunscreen, this is not the sunscreen for you. The smell of this sunscreen, you can just tell it's gonna burn. Last but definitely not least is the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Sunscreen Gel. This is an SPF 45, it's ultra sheer, fragrance free, and you know I had to include some from Black Girl Sunscreen. I mean, this is a Black Girl Sunscreen review, so we had to represent with the Black Girl Sunscreen, but sadly, this one is not my favorite. I don't know why I picked up the Make It Matte version. The matte finish on this is just not super enjoyable for me. This sunscreen is very similar to the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in that it kind of has that same gel primer type of finish. As far as white cast goes, this one is completely safe. There is no white cast, no hint of a white cast. So it definitely meets my requirements for the white cast box. However, I just don't love the primer texture. And honestly, I sometimes feel like this sunscreen can cause breakouts. So if you have acne prone skin, I would not recommend this. Yeah, I just really don't love the matte primer type of texture for this. I feel like my skin can't breathe. My pores feel clogged. I don't know if they're actually clogged, but they feel clogged. This has definitely given me a pimple before and I feel like it would do it again if it had the chance. This Black Girl sunscreen retails for $15.99. So it's a pretty good price and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. This could be a good option for you if you like a matte finish and you like the primer type of sunscreens, but it's just not my number one. These are pretty much all of the sunscreens that I have for you guys today. I was comparing these all for you guys today, but honestly, Honestly, there is no comparison. This one blows all of these popular sunscreens completely out of the water. There is no competition. Like this is so far ahead and so much better than all of the other sunscreens that I mentioned today. It's just such a beautiful hydrating essence-like formula with a bunch of hyaluronic acid. This doesn't leave your skin greasy. It leaves it perfectly hydrated. And I have really just never come across something like this before and I think it really is just revolutionizing the way we look at sunscreen and what a sunscreen has to be. Growing up, all of the sunscreens that you ever encounter are so irritating. They have a white cast and it just discourages people from wearing sunscreen every day, which is so important. You guys, sun damage is the number one cause of premature aging. Not to mention skin cancer and all of the damage that the sun can do. Wearing a sunscreen is just so important. And for so long, it just hasn't been convenient or realistic or inclusive or just an enjoyable experience, but Numbazine has really changed the game with this one. I really think you should give this a try. Like I know, I just, I know you're gonna love it. You don't have to try it, but if you do try it, I know you're gonna love it, so you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you in your search for the perfect sunscreen. It can be so hard to find a sunscreen that works for you, especially if you have a darker skin tone. So I hope trying all of these out so that you don't have to is a little bit helpful in your journey to finding your perfect sunscreen. I literally need to buy another one of these. It has like this much left. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date with all my latest skincare videos, be sure and subscribe and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!